What was that? Did you just say you want to install WordPress on Hostinger but aren't sure how? Well, don't you worry. By watching this video, you'll learn how to do exactly that in no time. All right. So what exactly do you need to install WordPress? The first thing you need to know is that although WordPress is free, you still need to find a hosting provider like Hostinger to store your website's files and data. When looking for a web host, make sure they meet these requirements. First, they must support PHP version 7.4 or even a better one. They also must have at least MySQL version 8.0 or a MariaDB version 10.5 or greater. And finally, they should provide HTTPS support. If your head is already spinning from all these terms, that's totally fine. I'll save you some time and say that Hostinger meets all of these demands. Plus, it has one of the best web hosting offers for WordPress and is super easy to use. So to get started, simply click the link located in the description down below, which will take you to Hostinger's homepage. Once you get there, press on Claim Deal or scroll down to see available WordPress hosting plans, which include premium, business, or cloud startup. Personally, I'd recommend choosing the business plan, as it offers all the necessary features at a good price, such as 200 gigabytes NVMe storage, a free domain name, SSL, email, and much more. Once you've selected your plan, you'll need to decide on how long you want it for. And honestly, the four-year business plan is a no-brainer at only $3.99 per month, and you'll even get three free months. Now, the rest is pretty simple. After choosing a plan, you'll need to sign up, select a payment method, and fill in your personal information. Don't forget to sweeten the deal with our coupon code WP10 for an extra 10% off. Oh, and by the way, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee if you do somehow change your mind. Once your purchase is all complete, you can log into your account and see it in the Hostinger dashboard, which is called HPanel. Well, now that you've got your hosting plan all sorted, let's dive into actually installing WordPress. What you should know is that with Hostinger, there are two ways you can install it, either through the onboarding flow or using the auto installer. So let's start with HPanel's onboarding flow, which is especially great for beginners, as it provides lots of guidance and AI tools for content creation. But hey, before we jump in, don't forget to subscribe and smash that notification bell so you're always in the loop for more videos just like this one. Okay, well now let's go to your HPanel's homepage. Next to your hosting plan, you'll see a button Setup. Click on that and start your onboarding. Next, just answer a few questions about your website. You can skip them if you want, but they're pretty helpful, especially if you're new to all this. So start off by confirming that you're building a new website and not migrating an already existing one. Then you can choose whether to use WordPress or hosting your website builder. And they both do have their perks. While hosting your website builder can give you a super simple drag and drop functionality, WordPress offers more control and lets you build your site completely from scratch. With over thousands of plugins available, you can increase security, boost SEO, and add e-commerce features, among many other things. Since in this video we're focusing on WordPress, let's click right here. Next, let's set up your WordPress account. And don't forget to save your details as you'll need them to log in later on. And now comes the creative part. Here you can pick the type of website that you want. Let's say that our fabulous website will be a blog. Once that's done, you can decide how you want your website to look by choosing from pre-built websites or themes. And keep in mind, you can always switch things up and customize it later. The same goes for plugins. You can pick them now or install them later. If you don't know what a plugin is, think of it as a tool that adds extra features or functions to your WordPress website. Coming up next is content creation with AI. Simply type in your brand name and provide some information about it. AI tools will create content for your site that's based on this description. And now, of course, every website needs a domain name. So that's what we're gonna do next. And just in case you're not too sure on what a domain is, well, it's basically your website's unique name on the internet. Like for example, mywebsite.com or myfabulouswebsite.org, let's say. Your domain name should represent your website and its content. So I really hope you come up with something better than I just said. Let's come back to the onboarding. 
When you write down your domain name, you will also have to choose a domain extension. These include .org, .net, and most popular .com. There are also many other extensions. Pick out the one that fits your future website the best and afterwards press on the button Check Availability. This will show you wherever the domain is available. As you can see, myfabulouswebsite.org is already taken, so we'll go with myfabulouswebsite.net. Note that for now you can choose to use a temporary domain too, if you're not ready to commit to a certain domain name yet. In the following steps, just fill in the required information and finish the domain registration. Finally, the last step is to select a data center. Make sure to pick the closest one to you or your potential audience to ensure the best performance. Click next, let it load, and that's it! Now you can go check your H panel, click on admin panel, and this will take you to, well you guessed it, your WordPress admin area. Here you will be able to continue working on your website. If you want to see how your website is currently looking like, click this button right here. And there you have it! What did I tell you? It's pretty easy, right? But as I said, there's another way you can install WordPress, and that is using HPanel's auto installer. It might not be as guided, but it's still super simple, fast, and direct. I'd say it works best for installing an older WordPress version, but it's also perfect for installing WordPress on a subdomain without impacting the main domain. Well, I'll take you through this method as well. First, go to your HPanel's homepage, find your website's hosting, and press Manage. Then look for Website at the left sidebar, select Websites, and then click on Auto Installer. It will take you to this page. Here just click on WordPress, because that's what we're working on right now, and here write your website's name and fill in the username and password. And keep in mind that if you want to install WordPress on your subdomain, you can press the Advanced button here and choose the subdomain name you want to install it to. If you want more information on how to create a subdomain, check out the link located in the description. In the following step, you'll have to choose the application's version. I'd say pick the one that is recommended, as it's the newest one and very likely the most secure. In the same way, you can pick the PHP version as well. And lastly, select whether to turn off your automatic updates or not. Just choose what works best for you, basically. Now click Install, and voila! This is it, guys. You can now click on Admin Panel, which will take you to WordPress Dashboard, or you can also type your domain name slash WP Admin in the search bar, and it will take you here. So there you go, a simple guide on how to install WordPress. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let us know how your WordPress installation went in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.